I, I mean, I can't even believe what I'm watching. Where that advert there was aimed at children as young as eight. Now, the app has already launched in America, but is it, is it a healthy tool to combat childhood obesity? Well, joining us now with two very different views on this is Nikki Graham and weight loss motivator Steve Miller. Good morning to you both. Just Hello. watching that, you know, I've got two young girls, you know, we've both got young children. To me, it just seems so, so extreme. What, and what do you think, Nikki? I just think it is such dangerous territory. Mm. I, got, I got admitted to my first eating disorder gene at the age of eight. And children as young as that, going on this app, it is just so frightening and damaging. Mm -hmm. But I know, Steve, you're, you're coming from a slightly different angle because you, oh, you know that there's a child obesity issue in this country. Yeah. But is this app the right, right way to go forward? And the thing with the eating disorders, was your eating disorder caused by food? Be uh, and, you know, the, looking at healthy food and stuff like that, because as my understanding is, your eating disorder was triggered, and I, I have a lot of sympathy and empathy with you, from the relationship you had with your parents. Mm. Um, it, it has it has elements of all all. But you know, I, I agree that possibly an app won't cause it. But if you have got that tendency, right, and if app. you are suffering from um, anorexia, if you had an app like that um, to go on and watch what you were eating, it would make the control worse. Right. Let's get a grip. Let's get. We got to get a grip on this because hang on, we've got twenty five percent of kids that are dangerously overweight. Okay. Right. This app, this app, everyone keeps saying it's a diet app. It's not a diet app. But it's and, dangerous Hang on, territory. Nikki, let me finish. You'll have your say, I'm sure. But this is not a diet app. This is really important because this tool could help so many families out there and so many parents. Hang on a minute. And did you know, did you know that it also includes, and this is the bit, guys, out there watching the show, it includes mindfulness for kids, helping them but with their mental health. Eight years what? old doesn't need to do mindfulness. Which is, they, they're missing their childhood. Mindfulness helps the child. Listen, I, oh, I, I totally it. agree. You know, as you said, we're at a crisis in in that point of view, and you know, we're in a position where, like you say, childhood obesity and it, it is on the rise. But having an app that a child is in control of isn't it our sort of duty as a parent? It's, it's our job to kind of educate our children. Maybe well, it's a, listen, it should be aimed at parents, listen. perhaps. Exactly. And it, it is. Be for this the is the bit you're missing, not... guys. You, you're missing this bit. It is aimed at the family. This is aimed at the family. It is not... A, and what you, do the way these you're talking... coaching sessions involve? Well, these children... coaching... Listen. Are the parents... Well, well I'll answer it. Coaching? Let me answer Let me it. Explain. I, I will answer it. What is a coaching? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The coaching... Hang on. The coaching session involves exercise and food education, which is what the kids would get in the classroom okay. at school. Can I just read We've this gone balmy about second, this One second, Steve, app. hold there, it's one second. From the app, this is how it works. The children begin by answering a questionnaire to match with a coach. So this is the children, not the adult. This is followed by a video chat with their coach and they agree their initial goals and fitness targets. The children will then use the app and the traffic light system to make healthier cho food choices and to build healthy habits. This is all based around the children. With their parents. But I... It does... No, no, we can twist this as much as we want, but... I, you know, I'm just reading and how the, the first works. time I've sat here and stood up for Weight Watchers. Mm. But actually, this app, we WW have... WW is their name. Sorry, they're called <laughs> WW. No, you but can But this call them app, way. this app is not about sending kids into an eating disorder. Can I just say something on eating disorders as well? And I, I understand this area quite well, right? Is eating disorders are often triggered by something that's much deeper than getting kids to look at healthy fruit and veg. But can I just... Wait, let's, let's, but this let's, is a trigger. Speak. It's making mm. children obsess over food and diet. Now, you know, they have enough education in the classroom mm. on healthy living. Mm -hmm. They don't need to obsess. So if you had had an app like this, um, you know, with healthy foods and stuff when you were a little girl, what would have it been like in your hands? It would have been so incredibly dangerous. I, I, I don't think... Have you seen the app, Nikki? Does the app include Nikki, the long-term damage that, that you can do to your body... Mm -hmm. What? It's healthy not, food? It's healthy not just food about and healthy being exercise. slim. It's, it's about, Control. you know, children. This is vital growth for them. Their hormones, their organs, What's they're the... all going to be affected. Can I also ask you, Nikki, because it's something that you've struggled with I mean, it's not just in childhood, it's been all your life, because I remember you've talked about it since Big Brother yeah. days. It's something you're still struggling with now. 
Unfortunately, it's something that you you do live with, but you you are in control. And I think that is why it is such a delicate ground because it is exacerbating eating disorders. Yeah. You yes, know? and we have to we have to support people with eating disorders. I'm not some sort of, you know, evil devil with horns here, but what we have to do as well is give parents a tool to help their children that, understand for the future, understand uh, understand for the future in terms of helping these parents um, educate the children. This app is based on 30 years scientific research and I'm going to tell you something here, right? Including people that specialise in eating disorders. But I do. So think come on, that, let's give WW that, a chance. I think here. that Weight Watchers should perhaps aim this more towards the parents yeah. rather than the children. Yes, I don't I think agree. they should put it on children. Would you ban education or... in school then on healthy food and exercise? No, I think it should start at home. Yeah, but you're yeah, yeah, really not answering my question the world there. That we live, no, I wouldn't ban it in school, but the world that well, that's we live, what the app is. The world that we live in now, the world that we live in, the apps that are potentially on our children's phones are social media, is Instagram, where they're seeing this perfect version of what they think reality children is. Children are they dying think that of they can, obesity if they, related let me finish, if they think they can go on that app... It is true. ..and then and then achieve that unrealistic goal. I think that's what's, that's you, what's worrying. But you've just said there, unrealistic goal. It is not an unrealistic goal to help a child that well, is... is an, hang on. A, a perfect goal. That's so dangerously we, overweight, we, that's dangerously overweight, become more healthy. That's and that's what, what the app that's does. This is not about a diet. Everyone keeps saying it's a diet. It's we've, not. We've had people um, uh, message in. We've got Rachel here saying, I signed my 12-year-old daughter up to the gym, we discuss healthy food choices, and she sees me keeping track of calories. Stop hiding the fats from kids, but I'm not sure... Good that for you, lady. I say good for you. 12 is a, a good... What, but, what, says... why, why, but if we're talking about being too thin, we wouldn't be having this heated discussion, mm. because we'd all be, you know... I, I, I just but we do, are I also it's... talking about being too thin. We don't want... It's equally as, un yes. it's equally as unhappy, but, and it is also on the rise. But the app the doesn't rise. do that. The app is... An it's teaching control, and control is part well, of an eating disorder. But it is. It it's teaching no, no, no. habits. It it's teaching new Healthy obsessions. Habits. What's wrong with teaching kids healthy habits? I've got to read this quickly, habits. guys. We've got a statement from Weight Watchers, okay. and they said, uh, Weight Watcher in the US collaborated with the Youth Advisory Panel, a team of leading healthcare professionals and academic experts. Uh, in the paediatric uh, field, health and nutrition from around the globe. They recognise a clear need for engaging scalable family-based programme designed specifically for kids and teens. There are currently no plans to launch this in the UK. Oh, thank God. Um, they're saying that Kerbo, which is the app, is scientifically proven family-based healthy lifestyle programme and is focused on behaviour change for healthier Can eating I, and more... Can I just say one more would, thing? Yeah. Right. What's on the app is what the NHS say. There's nothing different. Mm. <sighs> yeah. Well, we, well, it was a very interesting topic. Thank you. And thank you for coming thank on you for to talk to us. No, um, thank Steve you. And Nikki. Thank and you everyone sign the petition against this horrible <laughs> app. And everyone keep loving Nikki Graham, because <laughs> I do. I think she's fab. There you go. I've got to say it, Nikki. It Who, is Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Where did you find her? Oh, it's so nice to see you, Davina.